Hi, this is Jeremy Brennan with Quora Squared Software Solutions. Today I'll be doing a quick introduction of the latest features with Dwarfcraft version 0.4. This update has been mainly a code update to kind of smooth things around and also experiment with new game features. One of the first big features you'll see is, is that the world is much more smooth, and that's because instead of using whole blocks, we're now generating the world using half blocks. There's no change in memory requirements, it's actually using the same amount of memory, we're just playing with uh, bit flags internally to try and compress as much as possible. Also, if we zoom in, you'll see that the dwarves can now jump around up and down half blocks. This is a limitation. Before, they used to be able to jump through entire blocks, but that looked kind of awkward and broke the gameplay a little bit. Meaning if things were too steep, they normally shouldn't be able to jump up, but they were. So now we've changed the path planning system, so that way it looks smooth, it, uh, it plays intelligently. Then and also, each AI now spawns its own thread when it does attempt a path plan. Now, there's a threading system, so there's a thread pool and there is a maximum amount of threads that could be generated, so that way we don't cause system starvation and then block everything from trying to just find a simple solution. Another cool feature is, is that the world is now generated based on seeds. So, just like in Minecraft, instead of trying to give a friend uh, a copy of your file or a copy of your map, you could just go ahead and give them a seed and they could play the exact same map without having to copy anything. And remember, seeds can either be a number or some sort of uh, string of characters. And internally what we do is we take that seed, we create our own random number generators, and then we generate the world based on that. With previous versions also, we could still intersect the world up and down. There's a couple of nice performance fixes. Uh, the performance is still pretty high up, around 57 frames a second on my system when the screen capturing software isn't running around. And then also you'll notice if I zoom out, the entire world volume is now 100% allocated, ready to go for gameplay digging. Uh, most of the designations work, but we're still waiting to import a lot of the game art assets. So I mentioned before there's animations for breaking down blocks. It's in the game, just needs to be connected with the right kind of events. So this is Jeremy Brighton. If you have any questions or thoughts, go ahead and comment on the video, or go ahead and go to Cores2.com, uh, see all the other Dwarfcraft videos, or see the source code for yourself. It's code.google.com p p/dwarfcraft. Thanks for watching.